I mean, clearly, I should have at least bought bought some Bitcoin eight years ago. <laughs> like, what what more do people need to do? You know, like Jesus, talk about being late. To, talk about being late to the party. Um, What is going on, guys? Today, we'll be listening in on the interview of Elon Musk on Clubhouse, where they asked him about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, and his answers were very, very bullish. As you guys remember, last week during the whole uh, Robin Hood and GameStop and Wall Street bets debacle, Elon Musk had tweeted here, in retrospect, it was inevitable. Right. And then not only did he tweet that, but then he also put hashtag Bitcoin in his bio on Twitter. So, of course, that shot up the price of Bitcoin and all other cryptocurrencies on that day. As you can see here, um, we shot up about 14, 15 percent that day. So, I mean, in, in total, we shot up about 20 percent. But by the time this candle closed, it was up around 15 percent. So it was a crazy, crazy day. Uh, in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as the world's richest man was giving his support and nod over to all the Bitcoin users and the Bitcoin technology. Elon Musk also tweeted that day, you can't sell houses you don't own, you can't sell cars you don't own, but you can sell stock you don't own. This is BS, shorting is a scam. And of course, when, when GameStop posted this meme, uh, replying back to Robin Hood, who posted on, on March 23rd, 2019, let the people trade. Elon Musk also had to reply to that because it's pretty funny that Robin Hood now is not letting the people trade. So after all of that, Elon Musk tweeted on the 31st, two days ago, that he would be on Clubhouse at 10 p.m. LA time. So that's exactly what happened. He jumped on a call on Clubhouse and spoke about a variety of different topics, including Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. As a side note, he also spoke to the CEO of Robinhood and grilled them pretty good. But uh, but we're just going to focus on cryptocurrencies today. So let's jump right into the call. Elon, uh, OK, uh, this is something you joked about, but I'm kind of curious to get your you know maybe serious answer to this, which is all things cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. You famously just changed your Twitter bio to just the Bitcoin logo and the word Bitcoin this week. What do you think of cryptocurrency? What do you think of Bitcoin? What do you think of other uh, you know, cryptocurrencies? We'd love to get your take on the entire thing. <laughs> well, um, yeah, I got to watch what I say here because some of these things can really move the, move the market. Um, so I, first of all, I should say like <laughs> uh, many friends of mine have, Try to convince me to uh, get involved in Bitcoin for a long time, like from where it first just popped, you know, it, it popped out there. Um, and I, you know, a friend my bully, he he actually had Bitcoin cake, a cake that was like had a bit big sort of Bitcoin symbol on it, and he fed me a slice of Bitcoin cake in 2013. So, I mean, clearly, I should have at least bought bought some Bitcoin eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> like what? What more do people need to do? You know, like Jesus, talk about being late. To, talk about being late to the party. Um, um, so I was a little slow on the uptake there. Uh, my apologies. Um, but I, I, and, and I think about it for a bit. But I, I do at this point think Bitcoin is a good thing. Um, and um, so I am a supporter of Bitcoin. Uh, well, you, know, you know, like I said, I'm late, late to the party, but I am a supporter of Bitcoin. Um, and I think it, Bitcoin is really on the verge of getting uh, broad acceptance by sort of the conventional uh, finance um, people, you know. So, um, yeah, I think so. You know, I, I don't have a strong opinion on, on other cryptocurrencies. I mean, I, occasionally I make uh, jokes about Dogecoin, um, but but they are they are really just meant to be jokes. Um, but I, I mean, you know, Dogecoin was made as a, a as a made as a joke to make fun of cryptocurrencies, obviously. Um, uh, but but fate loves irony, and <laughs> and, and, and often, as a friend of mine says, the most ironic uh, outcome is the most likely, or as I like I like to say, the most entertaining outcome is is often the most likely, and arguably 
the most entertaining outcome and the most ironic outcome would be that Dogecoin becomes the, the currency of Earth in the future. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys saw, Elon Musk said he's late to the party, but he supports Bitcoin, which is huge news, guys. The richest man in the world just said he supports Bitcoin. He just said that he sees the technology and he sees uh, bigger companies now using it and finding a way to use it within their business. So when the richest man in the world says that he supports Bitcoin, then you should probably be supporting Bitcoin too. Guys, make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. Also turn on those notification bells so that you can get notified as soon as we post videos every single day. Now, let's talk about what's in the other news today. So in other news, Michael Saylor from uh, MicroStrategy purchased approximately 295 more Bitcoins worth about $10 million at an average price of $33,808. So they said that they now hodl 71,079 Bitcoins, which was acquired for $1.145 billion at an average price of $16,109 per Bitcoin. So let's do the math on that real quick. 71,079 times, we're at about 35,000. So just to keep it simple, 71,079 times 35,000 equals $2.48 billion, guys. So they made an investment of $1.145 billion and their total is now 2.487 billion. That is insane. That is just think about that guys. It's crazy, crazy, crazy numbers. Imagine having $2 billion worth of Bitcoin. So in other news, the Coinbase direct listing on NASDAQ is set to attract more investors into the crypto market industry. Coinbase is set to go public in the coming weeks following a successful secondary offering on the NASDAQ private market. Coinbase is set to sell approximately 240 million shares during its direct listing on the NASDAQ trading platform. So the company sold its shares on the NASDAQ private market at a price of $200 per share which valued the company at around $50 billion. Since there is an absence of underwriters, the volatility of the Coinbase share will be very high during the initial days as it will be in price discovery mode. And then of course, volatility is expected to spike even further, fueled by the speculation in both crypt the crypto industry and the Wall Street retail investors. So is it bullish or bearish news? I would say it's leaning towards the, the bullish side as it uh, continues to put more eyes in the crypto market and the crypto industry continues to push us forward. And it continues to show that we're in this now, right? We're fundamentally in this. We have a purpose, Bitcoin has a bigger purpose now. And because it's now being traded, crypto, you know, direct crypto companies are going to be listed and now being listed on the NASDAQ and different stock markets, different exchanges. It means that the government has has begun to let crypto in. You know what I mean? So it can't at this point, we can't retrace back to the point where they, the government could ever say, you know, crypto is illegal or Bitcoin is illegal because we've already gone so far, it would at this point affect not only the crypto market, but it would affect the stock market overall. So remember the government doesn't wanna lose money and they're allowing crypto into the into the different exchanges already, into different businesses. So it's bullish to me, bullish news. In other news, Gemini partners with crypto lender Genesis to offer 7.4% yield on customer deposits. This is basically where you deposit your uh, crypto and then they give you a percentage annually. For example, we spoke about BlockFi last week where you made around up to 8.4% depending on what coin you were using. But on Bitcoin specifically, they gave you 6% return uh, yearly. 
Now, Gemini is offering 3% per year return yearly on the Bitcoin that you store with them. Now, what I saw that I did not like was that when I read, when you had to agree to the terms, it basically was saying that, that if they lose your crypto, they have no fault and there's nothing that you can like they don't have to give it back to you so if something happened and they lost your crypto you lost it and that's it if something happened that uh, they lended out your crypto and the person defaulted on payments and didn't pay you back then they didn't have to give you back your your crypto so things like that and they and then they said that they held no collateral for the loans that they were giving out so it just it didn't make sense to me. Um, they're gonna have to fix that and clear that up because even BlockFi holds collateral um, for the loans that they're doing. So what's up, Gemini? What's going on? And then of course, the last thing we're gonna talk about today is Ethereum. So Ethereum hit a new all-time high, as you guys can see there. We broke above 1500 or we hit that 1500, depends on what exchange you were on. But on this exchange, we hit, this is the Coinbase exchange. So th this one hit 1500 on Bybit. It went up to 1510 on Binance. It, it was close to 15. So 1500 is basically the average new all time high across exchanges at this point. So we spoke about this on yesterday's video. I hope you guys took that trade. Um, we spoke about trades here at the 1300 level and then we spoke about that breakout trade at 1350 which was this one right here if you took that trade guys congrats that is it for us today guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this video we did it a little bit different today we wanted to cover more current events about what was going on and talk about elon musk the richest man in the world supporting bitcoin if you enjoyed this video guys make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure to also like and uh, turn on that notification bell so that you're notified every time we post a new video that's it for us today guys tomorrow we will come at you guys with another video as always peace and love